What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. This week while we're on Egg Watch continuously, I thought we'd pick up an old project that it's been a minute since I've talked about, so let's get on it. So if any of you are fans of Miguel Garcia over at AEP, you guys know that he does a lot of shed testing to prove out paw sets. Well, I've been over here collecting about 40 plus sheds or so. A few friends of mine have sent me some sheds as well. And what I'm planning on doing, if you've heard me talk about it, is hopefully getting enough samples to develop a test to uh, identify the exanic gene in carpet pythons. It was originally thought to be recessive and after much work and some time, uh, it's kind of been relabeled as an incomplete dominant. Now, what that means for my implications is the last couple pairings that I've done of quote head-to-head -head animals have left me with quite a few what would have been labeled as pos heads uh, that have some visual attributes and, and I've been collecting sheds and the idea is to, uh, at least from the last season's head-to-head um, -head two pairings that I did, be able to identify those animals. So I have a lot of them still here. I've sold quite a few of them. And if you're watching this and you purchase one of those animals, hopefully you've maintained uh, the records that I sent you with their ID number because what I intend to do, if we have enough sheds to develop a test, is then put those ID numbers with all the animals on the website so that you guys can see if you purchase an animal, if yours is in fact a, a het, which would be a, a single gene carrying animal in the incomplete dominant uh, labeling scheme of things or not um, so yeah that will be really neat to develop um, that's kind of the goal I'd like to accomplish and get that started and then who knows maybe we can develop some some more useful tests in the carpet Python world this goal right here is well I'm not sure obviously a beautiful tiger um, great silver eyes really wonderful color scheme but when she hatched I thought maybe she was an exanic not sure labeled her as a pos hat then switched back and labeled her as an exanic and now I'm not so sure so the shed testing will be really nice I just fed everyone yesterday so she's still extra hungry and, and fired up she's normally a sweetheart but we're gonna put her away so we don't bother her so she doesn't hurt her face but yeah, it would be nice to be able to say, yes, that is a uh, single gene exanic carrier or uh, the double gene, which would be uh, the homozygous form. And then we'll have to have a whole nother conversation regarding uh, how do we label these moving forward. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to discuss that uh, with Ben Morrill of Rare Genetics Inc. and really, really get this ball rolling and start uh, bringing genetic shed testing into the Morelia world. Or at least start to. Little update on the brettles. This is the male here. He's in with the female. My guess is there's some lingering rodent smell and he's thinking there might be a male, but the female over here has been refusing food as of late. Looking pretty good. So we'll see. Things are looking promising, getting plenty of locks, lots of breeding activity, so all good signs. I mentioned earlier that we're on Egg Watch, uh, and I've showed you guys the uh, the Red Zeppelin project of corn snakes that I've got going. Well, it turns out this female is looking really thick and has now also been refusing food. So that's all good signs, waiting to see if she will shed. Uh, the male appears still eating and acting like a hungry boy. So uh, with any luck, we'll get a, a prelay shed from her soon and uh, We'll have some some corn snake eggs. I guess the silver lining to to not getting Kribo eggs is that that incubator that I had intended for the Kribo eggs is now free for corn snake eggs. So uh, as much as I would rather have both clutches or only the Kribos, I'll take what I can get. Um, is what it is. Can't win them all, right? So uh, on egg watch for her. Uh, head to head exanic carpet pairing. Keeping an eye on the brettles and the apodora are still very, very cuddly. So all things are go on, on those fronts. So hopefully next time I'm picking up this camera, we'll have some more eggs and uh, we'll just keep this good, good vibe and onward trend of uh, eggs and, and positive season 
you know, activities going. So pick it up in a few. Welcome back to Egg Watch 2024. Just kidding, but seriously, it's the next morning and uh, it's a good, good start to the day when you find a nice clutch of, of carpet eggs, right? And this right here is my female head exanic poplin produced by Eric Burke of EB Morelia. And she was paired with another male head exanic. She's hiding some eggs under there. All right, so you guys know the drill. Got to get mom off eggs, give her a once over, count the clutch, that whole deal. We'll see how she's going to behave because she's not the friendliest snake under any circumstances. Yee! Good clutch though. Yeah. Give her a good once over. Pretty cool looking belly patterns. And if you guys are already ahead of me in the counting game, looks like we've got 10 perfect eggs here. And that's a pretty, pretty good sized clutch for a pop win. I'd say they average anywhere between 10 and 13 eggs or so. A dozen is usually a good number. I'm gonna just Grab these as is, gently peel them off the floor here. They're only laid within the last few hours, so there's a little sticky. And nestle these guys in here. Let you guys take a look how I do this. Again, just simple hatch right. Nice. Normal six quart bin, nothing fancy. And there we are. All right, and technically that is clutch number six, but as we know, only five clutches, or at least part of five clutches, will be making it into the incubator with that Kribo clutch being a wash. But uh, yeah, we're we're on the board some more. That's that's ten more eggs. We're we're cooking now. Um, I think I'm only waiting on. The striped jungle female to lay based on everything that I'm seeing. That was probably the last pop one clutch for the season. I thought I was going to have a third female. I don't believe that to be the case anymore. I think, uh, I think that's going to wrap up the, the pop one production for the year, but shouldn't be everything because The brettles are locking up still. So we're just gonna keep this uh, whole egg watch rolling. I'm gonna keep you guys posted with what's going on with them. The Apodora are doing exactly the same. Um, yeah, this is this is Egg Watch 2024 continued, and uh, finally shaking the bad juju off the start of the season. Got some good, healthy, perfect clutches. That's three for three. We went nearly 0 for three, and now three for three. So call that redemption. I'll take it. So and uh, yeah, I think that'll about wrap it up for this one. I don't expect any more clutches this week. It'll probably be the corn snakes next and a few more weeks till we see some jungle eggs. But um, yeah, incubator's starting to finally fill up with the right kind of eggs. And uh, I'm very happy about that. I'll definitely keep you guys posted with all the Brettles, the Red Zeppelin, and Apodora updates. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up here, get my day started. I gotta get that female cleaned up 
cleaner bin out and uh, just get rocking and rolling. It never stops around here. So, alrighty. Well, with that, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Thanks for uh, joining me on another short, short video this week uh, on the upswing with eggs and all good stuff. Catch you guys next week. Don't forget to check out my sponsors, Heli Guy Serpents. Use code RR10 if you want 10% off any 3D printed snake accessories, anything like that. If you're doing any shipping this year, ship with Reptiles Express. Save yourself some money and use code Riley50 to save you some money on shipping labels. Trust me, save you some money. Um, don't forget to go check out US Arc in US Arc, Florida. Become a member if you aren't. They are the legislative bodies keeping us uh, in business, doing what we can. Give them a little support. And if you want to join the Patreon family, you can look me up under Riley Jimison. Um, got a lot of cool stuff going we got a discord going uh early access to babies monthly zoom meetings the whole nine so um check us out join the fam and i'll catch you guys next week later